What's up, Discord? Welcome back to another market analysis. For this week, we're going to be covering from the 19th to the 24th of March. All right, so um, we're going to jump right into it. Um, congratulations to the two people in the Discord who won the 200K account from the Forex um, funder. They actually received their challenges the first day, I think. The day that we announced it, they actually received the challenges. So it was pretty quick. Um, I believe it was Jake H. And then it was um, Kyrie. I forgot the the um, the full name, but it started with Kyrie. Um, but congratulations to you guys. I plan on doing more giveaways like that in the Discord. So just be on the lookout for that, guys. So getting right into this market analysis. What do we have for today? So currently what we are seeing in the markets, I'm in DXY as of right now. We're going to start with DXY because as we know, we like to start with DXY. DXY is going to cover what we're looking for for majority of the, you know, um, the dollar. So that's going to tell us what to look for for the dollar pairs and what type of move and direction we can look for. So as we know, the market is in a bullish order flow right now. Let me go ahead and delete this. I believe it wasn't saved but we are in a bullish order flow we did break this high which gives us back into this bullish order flow on dxy now of course higher time frame we were going this bullish move towards the upside we know the market came back down we distributed up here and what are we looking for the market to do as the moment well essentially i'm looking for the market to get back into this area Okay, that is going to be the next area that I see the market having to reach before we see anything happen to stop this bullish momentum unless we break this low. If we do not break this low, most likely than not, we're going to continue higher going into this area. Okay, so what, do we, what can we see as of right now? So we know that based off of this bullish order flow, we had a clean market cycle. We have accumulation, we have reaccumulation, and now we have a dish though that just formed. Okay, accumulation, reaccumulation, distro, that is a clean market cycle. All right, I know some people missed that question on the exam that we did. This is a market cycle, okay? A market cycle is not just one schematic. It's not just a distribution. That's not a market cycle. Market cycle is a accumulation, a reaccumulation, a distribution. That is a full market cycle. That's what we call a bullish market cycle. A bearish market cycle would be a distro a redistro and then we have an accumulation all right that is a bearish market cycle okay to the downside distro redistribution accumulation at the bottom all right now we know as we talked before this accumulation will lead us into one of these supply areas whether or not we're going to continue down with our bearish market cycle or whatever the case may be the market moves in cycles okay so consider this would be considered a leg market would pull back come and retest one of these areas Boom, we have a distro here. The distro will create a redistribution. Well, I can't continue it, but as you guys, you guys can see where I'm going with that. All right, so um, let's not get too deep into that. So accumulation, reaccumulation, what do we expect the market come, to come into? This is gonna be my first area. That's technically our slingshot. And then this is gonna be our origin where everything started. That's the accumulation where everything started, right? So what am I looking for? So essentially, we have an accumulation here. Um, now, honestly, I don't think we're going to react from here, right? I don't think this is gonna be the, the accumulation that leads us higher to a new high, right? I don't believe that's what's gonna happen. So um, what could we see happen? I think we're gonna come much lower underneath this accumulation here and get us into either this area even more or get back into the original accumulation itself so um since i mean we did see some bullish movement from this accumulation but it wasn't strong enough to take out this high which we can see that we have a clean distro right there so essentially i want to see us come lower and i want to see us react from the actual reaccumulation we haven't tapped into the manipulation yet that i wanted to see us react into okay as we can see there you go. It's matched up with the 50% of this huge shakeout from the reaccumulation. So that's where I want to see us come into and see if we can get that small 
accumulation that's really going to get us to go higher okay i want to see something like this that's going to get us to come higher and to continue this bullish market cycle to continue the market bullish towards the upside that's what i want to see on dxy if not then obviously i want to see us come lower into the origin all right so moving on let's go to eu what do we see on eu i talked about this last week i told you guys that this redistro here was still valid and i had this marked out for a while now as you guys can see we tapped in here and then we had a huge move from news okay we had news just take us straight to the downside after we tapped into the 80 of this area from the redistro so what am i looking for now since we created a change of character to the downside i am essentially just looking for the market to give me a distro um honestly i don't have a clear point of interest so what i would do is i just mark out this whole area to be honest from this high to this low let's just mark it out and see okay we have the 80 sitting up here so i mean we already came into the 50 so honestly i'm just thinking that maybe from the 80 we could potentially see we could potentially see a reaction within here okay that that's going to be something so far that i'll give us as of right now and i'll have an alert sitting right here so i'll just be looking for a distro from this 80 higher okay um what do we look for next that is pretty much it let me go ahead and zoom in on eu and see what else can we do um i can already see the distro forming All right we are in asian session right now i can already see the distro forming so i want to say this will be much cleaner right i wouldn't like for us to create this distro here unless we just get another fractal distribution inside of here then i'd be taking this instead but i would really love for us to just go higher and actually tap into the 80 we don't have to tap into the 80 but it'll just give me more confluence so let's see what the market gives us i'm already seeing that we're creating a distro right here so just be on the lookout for that all right let's move on to gu gu is a little different as of right now um we are bearish okay market cycle not market cycle but structure is bearish at the moment so what am i expecting on gu well, technically, we are still within the huge redistribution. All right, we still have not invalidated it yet. I mean, it looks like we are, but it looks like we're going to, but we still haven't yet. So I can't really give it that until we do so. So unless we, honestly, unless we invalidate this high here, I'm still going to be looking for shorts on GU. So what would I be doing? This is going to be another area that I'm going to be watching out okay that's another supply zone that i'm going to be looking for on gu and if the market wants to go higher then honestly this is where i'd look to sell it anywhere inside of this top areas where i'd look to sell it honestly and if the market is going to sell it's going to sell here right i don't believe that we're going to go above these highs here and then not break this high right honestly we would break that high if we go any higher than this okay i don't see anything else stopping us we're probably just going to get a bigger retracement back into higher areas like here so um but as of right now we're going to play the bearish order flow and see what happens okay and let's continue to move on with that let's go to au Okay, I kind of have AU marked out a little bit. Order flow is bearish. I'm going to go ahead and mark this so I'm a little behind by marking out my charts. Order flow is bearish. Okay. We broke this low. We confirmed bearish order flow. So what am I looking for? Pretty simple. You guys can already see it. I have it zoned out. I'm looking for a short tier. I'm looking for a short tier. And I'll be looking for shorts up here. I have three areas I'm looking for shorts from. So this is our first, this is our latest area of supply. All right, I'm gonna delete this change of character. Okay, so here we go. What am I looking for as of right now? The market is trading within this redistro. So I'm looking for a lower time frame confirmation entry. So what would that look like? As you guys already know, we're looking for that bearish move within this area. We're just looking for a distro. Okay, if we do not see a distro, 
what else are we going to look for? So I know you guys are thinking we don't always get a distribution or we don't always get a distribution within the point of interest. How do we trade the market? The market is always going to give you a structure as it gets inside of your, I say, point of interest. So this is my point of interest. I'm going to show you guys um, how we go about trading our point of interest if we do not get a like entry inside of that point of interest i would say so this is called as you guys know multi time frame structure i'm going to draw out a lot of structure points within here that could confuse some people so here we go right i'm going to do it with my letters well i'm going to do it with my drawing tool i'm sorry so we have this high creates this low okay this low breaks this high so now this is the low boom go down mitigate go higher sorry go higher here come down boom okay go down boom this is nothing i'm sorry that's nothing go down here boom right then we come up here so this is the last low holding us higher okay the market could come down and create another one and then we could go higher so this would be the last low if we do that right so let's say we get that scenario okay let's say we get the scenario where the market gives us some more retracement a little bit more and then we go higher and we tap into the point of interest so they would go from here to here and we go up here so since this is the structure this is the low that brought us into the point of interest if the market taps into the point of interest and let's say we do not get a distribution let's say the market just sells off right once we break this that be considered a change of character so guess what you can do now now this is going to be your point of interest so when the market retraces you didn't catch this entry there was no entry given here now you can look for that distro right or even better let's say this is not this is not much of a um of a stop loss for you. You could take an entry off the 80 of this. Okay, now let me go ahead and simplify even more. So let's not worry about this main move towards the upside. Let's go into smaller time frame. I'm gonna apply the same thing, but on smaller time frame. So here we go. What is our current structure right now on this time frame? We got this low. We got, I'm sorry, we got this high, this low, this high. So this is the current low holding us higher. Now we can see the market came down a little bit. So let's say we stop here, or I'm just giving a, an example. Let's say we stop here, market goes higher and drives us into the point of interest. Since this will be the low that's driving us into the point of interest, the market has to break this low for us to confirm that sellers are ready to sell, right? For us to get a confluence, this will be our change of character. Remember, we always need a change of character to confirm that the market actually reacted from that area or we have confluence as to the market wants to sell, right? So if the market comes in here and we don't get a distro, right? We don't get this clean distribution and the market just sells, this will be our change of character, okay? Then after that, we could look for a short based off of this instead of right praying that the market gives us something else right because usually it doesn't so that's one way to look at it in a different view looking for your entries okay that's another way that i look for my entries if i do not get that small distribution now, of course we're going to be looking for a distro up here but let's say you don't catch this distro and the market goes down once the market creates this distribution and then we start going lower you have to wait for that change of character because if this distro does not create this change of character then if the market goes back higher there's no point because that means there's no confluence to this there's no cause and effect right the cause of this distro is nothing because this distro did not do anything so i'm gonna say that one more time if you guys have a distribution or an accumulation you can apply this vice versa this is the low that drove us into this high if we get a distribution and let's say you miss this distribution let's say you didn't catch the entry here and the market is going lower if the market does not break this low for a change of character right you miss this distribution you miss this fractal entry the market goes lower do not set a limit order on this distribution until we break this low 
okay until we break this law until we get that change of character because if we do not you setting an intro here is setting yourself a failure because we do not have confirmation that the market changed character we do not have any confluence okay because this distro was printed but the distro did not do anything okay that's going to be the difference in understanding this Wyckoff. This is why I teach Wyckoff so much differently because we see Wyckoff everywhere in the market, but that's the point of cause and effect. And speaking of Wyckoff, what do we see here? This is technically a distribution. What did this distribution do? Nothing. So if you had a limit order set here, market just flew right because there's no point here. This distribution didn't do anything. Okay. This distribution didn't create enough effect for us to say that sellers are wanting to sell just right from here. Okay, um, just I'm not going to make it into like a rant or make it too long, but I hope you guys get the point of that. If I need to make a video just on that topic alone, please let me know. Right. Do not hesitate to let me know when I need to make a video on these small little topics that I'll be talking about just within the market analysis alone, guys, because I just sometimes I just re just like reinstating the concepts and I just like telling you guys these things as well um, even though that I feel like I've talked about this multiple times in the mentorship but sometimes you know um, going through those videos you could forget stuff like this and just you know trading you could forget stuff like this within that you know when you're locked in on trading. that's why I have these three keys right here it honestly helps Structure, supply and demand, cause and effect, right? Whenever I'm looking for my entries, you always want to look for cause and effect. Just ask yourself, is there a reason for me to sell? What confluence do I have to sell or buy this market? I have an accumulation. What did this accumulation do? That is basically what cause and effect is, is asking what did this price action do? I see an accumulation. This, did this accumulation create a change of character? Did it break structure? Did it invalidate something for me to say, okay, there's enough buyers here that I could... I feel confident enough to take a buy here. You know what I'm saying? That's all cause and effect is. It's with everything, okay? So, for example, and this is the last example I'm going to make. Let's say I wanted to take a sell here, okay? I want. Well, I do want to take a sell here. What is the cause and effect of this area? Why do I want to take a sell here? What did this area do? Well, we have a redistribution, and this redistribution was the last supply zone before we broke the order flow that's my cause and effect i know that there's at least some type of sellers here because we were able to break this order flow and this was the last supply zone before we broke that order flow that is my cause and effect based off of this area okay you guys get what i'm saying so um that's pretty much it okay and cause and effect can be with anything so one more thing here's another cause and effect for you guys let's say the market's going down you have an accumulation to three and then you have this boom what's your cause and effect here you want to sell from here what's your cause and effect this is your this is going to be the reason why you want to sell the market created an accumulation if there were buyers here the market technically should have been going up but we invalidated this which means we invalidated buyers which means we invalidated the other side of the market which means there had to be some type of sellers here in order to invalidate buyers there has to be sellers in order to take out the other side there has to be the opposite side okay <laughs> vice versa in order for us to take out sellers there had to be buyers so that gives me enough confluence to say hey i want to take a short from here because this area was able to invalidate this accumulation that the market made okay simple guys um this should not be a lesson so let me get back into the market analysis before i get carried away yeah i'm looking for shorts here and let's move on to ucat okay all right guys so now we are on usd cad what am I looking for in USD CAD? So here is one thing that I was talking about, um, what I was just talking about earlier with the change of characters and the structure and everything like that, right? So um, what can we see on USD CAD at the moment? Well, what do we have? We have this high that led into, kind of draw it for you guys. This high led to here, right? This was the previous low. We went higher, we broke this high here. So now this is the low to this high. We go down. This does not count as a low because this did not make a new. This did not make a um, a change of character, right? We did not break this low. So we go from this low to this high. Boom, we make a new low. So now we have this side of this. Go higher. Boom, we make a new low again. So now we have this high to that. 
Now we go from this and we change character. This is where we're at right now, okay? So guess what? That means this low is currently holding us. We changed character. Now, honestly, I was wishing we came a little bit lower. We came into this demand zone. But since we created a change of character, right, and we were close to the demand zone, that gives me an opportunity. I wouldn't even say opportunity, but it gives me some type of confluence to say, hey, maybe the market wants to buy right now. So how do I go about that? Well, we're just not going to buy the market, right? I'm draw my fibs out. What do we have? We have an accumulation that occurred right here on the 50%. So go ahead and zoom in. And honestly, I would say this was a very clean accumulation. Um, go down lower time frame. Here's your entry down here, right? Within the 50%, you have a very, very clean accumulation. We have multiple drives to the downside. You can see we have like four drives. This is currently the high. We broke this high. Boom, that's our that's our spring market comes down mitigates spring and then we just take off from there we have a reaccumulation right here the market takes off right um so that would have been a clean entry just for something we can see the market did not actually break anything though unfortunately so what do i get from that so here is exactly what we're talking about since this accumulation did not cause us to make a new high i can't take a limit order from that i can't just take an entry from that right so what do we do now now we just wait <laughs> okay we just wait to see whether or not this is going to create a bigger accumulation right to get us going higher since we did change character and this low is still holding this high or let's say we do break this low that's fine if we do break this low that's okay why because i really want to see us come in here anyways okay so that could have been a potential scalp as of just to catch some big RR. Now, based on the time frame that this was on, that was on the one minute time frame. I could have been some crazy RR right there. Um, moving on to NU. What do we see on NU? Pretty much the same thing. Um, really, I'm just waiting for NU to get back into our slingshot, which is sitting right here. Unfortunately, we invalidated this supply zone. That's fine because this supply zone is not part of the actual leg that created the move right since this is not part of the slingshot or the origin it's okay if we invalidate this since we already made the new low like i told you guys before after we make the new low the market can still create supply zones as we go lower once we invalidate those supply zones after we make the new low we complete the objective that means we're coming back into the slingshot or the origin right this is where we want to see the market come into here or here all that means is now that the high is all the way there and the low is where we create that reversal so technically now we can complete our leg so that means our leg is from here to here because now we're creating this reversal that means now our leg is completed now we're coming back to mitigate the slingshot or the origin okay now trust me i did not want this to become a lesson but <laughs> it started to turn into one that's why i'm looking for the market to react um, hopefully we get into the 50%. Let me go ahead and make my other. There we go. Um, hopefully we get into the 50%. If we don't, I don't really care. As long as we react within this slingshot. Okay. Um, USDJPY. All I can talk about on USDJPY at the moment is that we just created this distribution all right we have a distro um the market redistributed right here i can see the market tried to get higher i really wanted to come back up here now honestly to be honest i don't really care about any of this since the change of character happened here the market could easily get back into our actual distro so understand that i will try to follow this market as it goes lower so what i want to see is i want to see another redistro if we're going to keep going down i just want to see another redistro right we break the low then we keep selling it down okay until we get that reversal by breaking these highs now we know we're coming back into the actual distribution okay so let's go on to eg and uh, eg created a change of character or let's say a break of order flow over here so we honestly have a huge distro on eg and what I wanted to see and what I still want to see is I want to see us tap into this redistribution right here 
and we have a distribution at the top of it so i really wanted to see us come into here we can see that we tried we almost got there we didn't make it so um as long as this low is still active i still want to see us come up here now if i see let's say we see on lower time frame we see a redistro see something like this continuing us lower then we could i could potentially get into some aggressive sales to try to get us lower and honestly i don't know if i want to do that because i really wanted to see us tap into this distro but if i do see that opportunity during the right time and we see that distro we can take aggressive sales to the downside because order flow is bearish okay and higher time frame is bearish as well but honestly if we do not break this low understand that we could still go higher okay once we break this low this is off the table all right so that is that for eg at the moment and last but not least let's talk about acad we're here on acad and what i wanted to see from acad is that we invalidate the order flow but we did not invalidate the order flow so until we do that i can still look for potential buys towards the upside we create a change of character by breaking this high so what am i looking for this is going to be my latest supplies or oh, my latest demand zone i'm sorry it's going to be my latest demand zone and simply what i'm looking for is i'm just going to look for an accumulation i have to see an accumulation here an accumulation is mandatory okay because if we do not see an accumulation here this could just be a redistro right and for us to invalidate this order flow so we'll see um until we do invalidate this order flow i'm looking for those buys and this is going to be my area right now to look for some type of buy and it's, it has to be a, an accumulation just for me to get that confluence and that confidence that buyers actually are participating right here okay so that's going to be what i'm covering for today on this market analysis guys i will see you guys in the next one peace out